The world is facing a dreadful problem. Plastic. To expand the reach of plastic recycling, some brave initiatives already exist. They developed low-tech and open-source machines to transform this garbage into valuable objects. These machines are amazing and already work, but the bottleneck is sorting plastic. Today, makers use their know-how and some manual trick to sort plastic. But a scientific and affordable instrument is still missing. A few years ago, we decided to build one. This is Ozirma, an infrared spectrometer dedicated to plastic sorting. And it can also be manufactured in a fab lab. Here we have our plastic sample. The sample is illuminated by three light sources. A red LED that is visible and helps us for the optical alignment. A first infrared LED that emits at 1200 nanometers. And a second at 1600 nanometers. We also threw in a 400 nanometers blue ray laser to play with fluorescence. The light of the LEDs is diffused by the sample. The light is collected by two big lenses in glass, which cost only 3 euros as they are designed for flashlights. The collected light is focused on the entrance hole of our spectrometer. The light of the pinhole is collimated onto a transmission diffraction grating. It is 10 times cheaper than the gold-coated reflection grating that you usually find in an infrared spectrometer. Each wavelength of the spectrum is focused on an in-gas photodiode mounted on a little motorized translation unit that can compensate for the mechanical bending and misalignments of our 3D printed optical chain. With a stepper motor, Ozirma scans the light spectrum step by step and sends the data to the computer. At the end, we obtain a valid spectrum and the first measures show that we observe different spectrum for different plastics. This is still a prototype, but it shows good results even with a bomb cost of 200 euros. Thanks for watching.